don't need to ever look at anybody on the stage. Because when you're over here, Katie, okay. and you say, <coughs> a high school boy, yeah, you're what here. I do is go, a high school boy, you don't ever even have to look at Marsha. And Sherry, when you come out with Greg, and you, and you meet Marsha, you don't even, never even have to look at them. I know it seems like the weirdest no you've ever gotten in your yeah, life. So you can just stand here and pose. Hi, Marsha. Okay. Hi. And don't even bother. Okay. Don't even bother. Just let the whole audience see your face the whole time. Forget Stay it. away. <laughs> you said shut up. Yeah, right. Right. You're always taught to talk to actors on stage, uh -huh. you know, in theater. But this, we're purposely not talking to each other. We're doing everything out, and there's very little human communication between us. Very rarely do we look at each other in the eye and talk. And also, it's, it's because of the demands of the space, too. Uh -huh. Because the space is so weird. If I turn this way, I block off. So we're keeping it really open. Uh -huh. And it kind of adds to the artificiality of it, <laughs> which is a good thing, I think, in this. But it goes against everything any, any actor is taught. Uh -huh. Hi, Kathy. It's nice to see you again. Hi, Marsha. <laughs> oh, this is Warren. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Warren's the captain of the first string basketball team. Kathy's head cheerleader now. Congratulations, Kathy. I'm sorry you didn't make cheerleader, Marsha. It's really fun. Oh, well, can't win them all. Well, actually, I was on the original Brady Bunch when I was in junior high school. I did this same part. What's the, what's the part? It's called, she's called Kathy Lawrence. And I was on two episodes. This particular one, um, I do a cheer in the living room to make Marsha jealous. In the other one, Marsha brought me home to make Peter feel like he wasn't dull. Uh -huh. And it's, just, it's so strange. I mean, 20 years later, you know, to come back and be part of this show is very funny. So you must have been pretty nervous back then. Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah, and I like? was terrible. Oh, my God, it's so dreadful. So now you're recreating the same part. Are you going to improve part. it, or what are you... I think I can't, no, I think because it's so bad. It's got to it's gotta remain as bad as it is, <laughs> you know? That's great. It's just got to stay just as bad. Uh, let's go do your homework, Kathy. I was sure surprised to see you today. I didn't think you even remembered me. Are you kidding? I really... Oh, how could I forget you? I really dig the way you do those cheers. Oh, no kidding? Sure, especially that... F, 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 I, L, one. Hey, how about doing it for me right now? Here? I feel embarrassed. Besides, I came over to study. Please, Kathy, I'd really like to see it. Besides, I'm going to help you with your homework. Okay. You know, as, as you start to do, like, work about it or a play about it, people ask you to analyze it. Uh-huh. And we've realized that the, um, the things that we think are really funny are the things that are sort of like a sham. And everything <laughs> on TV is a sham, but... You know, the Brady Bunch is more of a sham than most things. In what way? Well, you know, because it's perfect. It's like, you know, it's like watching a beauty pageant or like watching a paid half-hour TV commercial. You're watching it and you're thinking, what is, it, what is going on here? You know, how can this possibly be being sold to the minds of the American people as being life? <laughs> yeah, uh, just hold on a second, Martha, and I'll ask him. Martha wants to know if the dunking machine is ready yet. The dunking machine is ready, Martha. Did you hear that, Martha? Yeah, it's ready. Uh, oh, that's very funny, Martha. Oh, you are a devil. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, Martha. Honey, could you come here? Oh, Martha, I've got to go. Yeah, Mike just called me. I think something's burning. The way like the audience to. reacts when the important moral is, is stated, I think you, you learned an important lesson, honey. Yeah. Everybody goes, oh, like a common vomiting <laughs> yeah. happens. Yeah. So that, t you know, Obviously, right. people and that's feel what the and same that's what, way today. Yeah, it just sort of makes it more clear than it already is. I mean, you can watch the Brady Bunch show and know that it's silly and that the morals are trite. But somehow seeing it as a live play makes that even more so. Yeah, more silly. So you've both been behaving very badly. Well, that's to put it mildly. Don't you see what you've been doing? I was yeah. fighting with Greg. I like well, that's not the important part. You've involved other people. You have been using Warren and Kathy. What do you mean using them? Well, you continued to see Warren after you said that he wasn't all that great. Yes. Did Warren suddenly get great? <laughs> or was he just the best way to get back at Greg? After all, I think Warren had the impression that you really liked him. And what about you, son? Was, is Kathy Lawrence really your first choice for a date? Or was she just the best thorn you could find to put in Marsha's side? 
I guess there are other girls I'd rather go out with. Can't you see how selfish and unfair you've been to them? <laughs> I don't know what else to say, except I'm sorry. I am too. Well, don't tell us. Tell them. What does it mean now, people watching this? I mean, it's, it's a very strange concept. Uh -huh. You know, what do people get out of this show? I have no idea. It's, it's a strange... I mean, it, it obviously touched the things that people needed about family and home and all that kind of stuff that the kids who are younger than I needed to see, uh -huh. you know? So it's become this whole... It might as well be the Rocky Horror Picture Show, you uh -huh. know? It's so funny.